after React <laughs> yeah. and Angular. Um, and you kind of brought me on to my next subject, which is about, or my final subject mm. actually, okay. about what you think will happen in the, the Brisbane tech scene over the next few years. What, mm. what do you think will be the next big thing? Well, <laughs> it's, it's hard for me to say, but I think right now definitely uh, microservices is yeah. popular. Um, having serverless uh, infrastructure is mm -hmm. popular. Having sort of almost back-endless systems yeah. is also sort of starting to mm -hmm. become more of a sort of mature pattern, you could say. So things like um, uh, there's a company called Zeet. I don't know how to pronounce it. Z-I-E-T. Okay. Um, what they do is they provide sort of serverless infrastructure. So all you have to do is write a function, upload it, they take care of the scaling for you, they take care of a lot of sort of infrastructure maintenance for you. So things like DevOps, you don't have to worry yourself with it until you reach a certain scale. So this means that you focus on what makes your application unique, which generally could just be the front end. Yeah. Um, so that to me is something that could happen more with the startup space. Uh, but obviously with larger enterprises, larger companies, they still have, they, it's probably in their best interest to keep as much in-house. From a as, security perspective? Um, from an IP perspective. Yeah. Uh, because the more you rely on a third party vendor, they will have constraints in their own product yeah. that you will inherit. So for a larger business, I think, you know, if you can build it yourself, it'll probably pay off in the long run, even though it takes a lot of discipline. Um, it, it depends on how much financing you have as well, um, how much you can bankroll. <laughs> so, but I think in terms of, you know, backend technology, that's not going to go away, despite everything being out there. Because it's one thing to say, okay, we have a product that's ready to show. It's another thing to have a service that's well engineered and that can run 24 seven with five nights uptime, etc. Um, so, in terms of the next big thing, I can't really pick one, <laughs> to be honest. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a but crystal ball. It is, it thing, is. But I think what you've said is really interesting. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it comes down to, you know, what the company's goals are and what they're happy with. Because I'm working with a friend now who's part of, you know, his consideration for what technology he's going to use is how easy it is for me to attract developers.